Hi guys, in this video we are going to use our mega kit to make an ombre rosette cake. This kit comes with an instruction card, a buttercream recipe, three decorating bags, a cake board, an icing scraper and spatula, a tip cleaner, three rosette icing tips, pink gel color, and two six inch cake pans. Now let's get started. We are working with a six inch cake we have already baked and cooled. Place a skid pad on your turntable, the cake board, add some icing, then place your first layer of cake and add your filling. For this cake, I'm using a buttercream filling to keep this project nice and simple. Because this whole cake is buttercream, there really are no special filling techniques required. So keep stacking and filling your cake to the top. Next, place a good amount of buttercream on top of the cake and use your spatula to spread it all around the cake. This first coat of icing is called a crumb coat because it helps keep all the crumbs on the cake. But what is the secret to quickly getting a really clean look like this? There are two things I'm doing here. One is to always keep your spatula on the icing and never actually touching the cake. This is why it's easier to work with a good amount of icing. Also try to keep your icing on the first third of your spatula. This will help you have more control. This might take some time to get used to, but don't worry, with a little practice you can definitely do this. I am now alternating between my scraper and spatula to get a really clean and smooth cake. It is really important to always wipe your spatula clean in order to make this step easier. Now we are going to color a buttercream for our rosettes. Since this is an ombre cake, I am separating three bowls of icing and I'm going to use three different tones of pink by varying the amount of pink gel color in each one. For this design, I'm using about one and a half cups of the two lighter pinks and about two and a half cups of the darker pink since I'm going to put that on top of the cake. Now it's time to decorate. We're going to use this large rosette decorating tip and prepare our decorating bags. First, we need to cut the ends of the bag so that the tips will fit well within them. Next, we place each tip inside each bag and fill our bags. Use the smaller bags for the two colors with the smaller quantities of buttercream and largest bag with the larger amount. Twist the ends of your bags and we are ready to start decorating. We are going to start with the lightest color. Hold the bag on the twisted end with one hand and use the other hand to guide the tip. Start about one inch from the bottom of the cake. Bring the tip very close to the cake and squeeze the buttercream out. When you see the buttercream coming out, guide your tip to move clockwise, swirling around a center bud and continuing around this bud to complete a larger rosette. Repeat one rosette after the other all along the bottom of your cake. For the next layer of rosettes, use your next piping bag and do the same thing. However, try to offset the rosettes so that they fall in between those of the first layer. It might not be perfect, but this can help you have a better distribution of space and give a nice rosette pattern. And now I'm working with the final and darker color at the top layer here, also offsetting the rosettes. With so much piping, you will find that these cotton bags are so helpful because this material just doesn't give and they definitely help make it easier on your hands. And now I'm working at the top of the cake using the same rosette technique that I used on the sides. Now that this is done, you can clean up any areas where there's a crumb coat is peeking through by piping some curved lines. Remember, don't use straight lines, always use curved lines. And that's it. We hope you liked this video and enjoyed learning how to make an ombre rosette cake. Follow us on social media and visit our website for cake design content and merch. Bye!